All right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in the desert right now. We're somewhere between wherever we were in Palm Springs. And after we hit this spot, we're gonna head down to the Salton Sea, check out Bombay Beach, check out Slab City. But yeah, we're just down the road from the Nude Bowl. I just pulled over here to shoot an intro because we've been driving for about an hour now, but we're in the middle of the desert. I ended up getting a car. I'll show you guys in a second. There's a pretty cool spot up here. It used to be a nudist camp. There was a pool there. It's been filled in, some skateboarders dug it out. I heard some police like shot it so people wouldn't skate it and they ended up getting in trouble for that. Since then it's been fixed and like dug out and people skate it and there's a little DIY up there. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Pretty excited because when I was a younger kid, I used to watch that doco, Dogtown and Z-Boys, and I used to watch them like jump um, fences and skate people's pools and stuff. I've never skated a pool. Probably gonna be horrible at it, but yeah, it should be pretty fun. So the car I got, usually I would've gone with a Japanese car, but since we're in America, Japanese cars over here are very expensive. My theory is that because we're a long way from Japan, whereas in Australia, we're like six hours away from Japan, so we get a lot of cheap Japanese cars, but I bought something American. I bought a 2004 Chevrolet Trailblazer. All the cars over here are automatic. There's not a lot of manual cars, so I couldn't get a manual. It's automatic, 4.2 liter inline six, rear wheel drive, they did have the four-wheel drive version, but I didn't get it. This is the LS. It's quite spacious. Pretty horrible on petrol, though. As you guys can see, the interior is quite bare bones. Um, it doesn't have cruise control. It doesn't have fog lights. That's pretty much it. It is quite spacious, though. And I wanted a car with a bit of space so I could put, like, my skateboard in the back and stuff and have enough room to go on trips like this. So, yeah. Pretty wild place for a nudist colony. I mean, it makes sense, like, being in the middle of nowhere. I think it was the 70s when it shut down because people used to skate up here in the 80s and 90s. Got a bit of graffiti going on here. I bought some paint today too, so if you guys are lucky, you might see some Enox graffiti action today. I've never really done any four-wheel driving. This isn't really four-wheel driving since this isn't a four-wheel drive. It's a rear wheel, but you know what I mean. I think it's right up there. I can see all the graph. Just got to carefully make our way up there. Chevrolet, the heartbeat of America. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're pretty, we're pretty out there in the desert right now. This isn't no Kent Lynn, Campbelltown, New South Wales. We're in the desert. We knew we were coming out in the middle of nowhere, guys, so we had to, we had to make sure we come out here, you know, with some protection. <laughs> gonna make it. It's probably as far as we're gonna get in the trailblazer guys. Um, yeah we need four-wheel drive to get up those hills. I tried but no luck so we're just gonna park the car here. It's like a 30 second walk anyway. So yeah we're gonna walk the rest of this trail guys. Too steep for my uh, little rear-wheel drive trailblazer. You guys ever seen that movie Grind? And they get the van and they pick up that chick. It's supposed to be Ryan Sheckler's sister in the movie and she steals the van and leaves them out in the desert and they've got to walk. Kind of, this kind of reminds me of it. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Karina nearly slipped over. <laughs> I think that's it just up there where that graffiti is. Pretty sure. Lucky it's winter right now and it's not summer. We wouldn't be able to do this in summer. Plus rattlesnakes. A lot of debris and rubbish. Apparently people used to party up here and get wild, so the city had to shut it down. Here it is, guys. The infamous nude bowl synonymous with skateboarding around the world this thing is massive oh people are having little campfires out here barbecuing 
This place looks crazy. Oh my God. This is actually like a real pool. Like this was like meant to be swimming and I'm sure it was swimming by all the nudists back in the day, but it's not like a purposely built skate pool. Ah. And it's not like Bondi or like Sydney or anything. Like this is a legit pool pool. You guys know I'm not much of a transition skater. Not much of a transition skater at all, but yeah, this pool's like the bottom of it, it's like cracked. So you've got to pretty much avoid the whole bottom section. Check it out. If you guys can see, there's some gnarly cracks in here. I mean, if you had big like 56, like gummy wheels, you could roll over it. But my, uh, my street wheels aren't really ideal for a spot like this. But yeah, just so you guys can see how deep it is. I'm standing at the very bottom right now, so it's quite tall. The colorway of the pool is really cool. It's had a lot of different coats of paint over the years, as you'd imagine, but I think last time they painted it all pink, but yeah, a lot of graph riders come in and bomb. We're in the wild west out here, guys. Heaps of empty shotgun shells and bullet casings out here. He was Someone's out here shooting right now. You hear that, guys? <laughs> Someone's shooting guns out here. <laughs> Imagine just being out here with your friends, like just partying and shooting guns and skating and stuff in the middle of the desert. Pretty wild. All right, guys, we're heading out now because we're going to head towards Slab City. So we're going to check out Bombay Beach hopefully, check out some abandoned houses, maybe do some more throwies and then head on down to Slab City, check it out. A bunch of people just rocked up, a couple of people in uh, four wheel drives and a skater with his missus and dog and a family. So this is quite the hot spot for tourists. Apart from the two four wheel drives that made it up there for a back road, we got the furthest up. There's another van and another uh, family 4B down there, but we made it the furthest up in uh, the Chevrolet, heartbeat of America. About 20 minutes off Bombay Beach and there's a bunch of just run down buildings and businesses and houses and stuff. 
Apparently this place used to be pumping back in like the 50s and 60s and 70s. From there, it kind of just went downhill because it's a, a man-made lake. All the runoffs from the farms, all the chemicals and stuff in the fertilizer ran off into the lake and kind of ruined everything. So there's a lot of salt in this lake. Just arrived in Bombay Beach, checking out the streets of Bombay. Got some weird kind of caravans here. Planet Caravan. Got a, a boat with a mannequin head in it. Pretty creepy. There's a sign that says private property, so I don't really want to go walking around in there. Maybe we'll find some more spots to have a look at. We're at some weird Coachella looking place. Some uh, steel stuff and a big concrete steel star over there. Pretty crazy, huh? Who built this? Why is this here? Where'd they get all this rebar from? Why is there razor wire? It's a big canal thing here and then there's the Salton Sea which is a big lake, big man-made lake. We're at a house of doors or something right now. It's like a weird art installation. Some doors that go into this big place that has other doors. I'm not going to count how many because it looks like there's a lot. You want to punch a hole in the door? <laughs> I'm sure back in the day they would have had a super different idea of how Bombay Beach Estates was going to turn out. It's like Mad Max almost out here, guys. When you die, so we'll rock and roll. When you die, so we'll rock and roll. We'll have to think of something new. We'll have to think of something new. We'll have to think of something new. here someone left that someone's done a pretty cool piece on in this garage it's pretty cool on the trailer and everything wow the hull of a boat so there's electricity here big art insulation what's that i don't want to go through there it looks sketchy you might step on a nail or something careful and there's a weird body type of thing on this table here. It's creepy ass. Oh. Check it out. This place is nice. Karina's just dying to take me into this place here. I don't know why I wanted to check out the caravan graveyard. What's in here? It's weird. But it's pretty. Some cardboard art. It's pretty wild. A lot of time put in here. Wow. Look at the roof. Whoa. Some notes. Some to-do lists. If you come to Bombay Beach and you want to buy somewhere or rent somewhere, just pop down to uh, Southersby here and check out the uh, real estate you can purchase here or rent here in uh, Bombay Beach's state. Just rolling up to... What's this place called? Salvation Mountain? Yeah. Salvation Mountain. This is where they buried Jesus. You can't go in because of COVID, but check it out. So you used to be able to go inside here, but it's closed for repairs. And the old boy, there was an old bloke that built it, passed away. So I don't think they've been maintaining it or something. Would have been fun to go in, explore, but yeah, she's closed. A few abandoned cars here that have been bombed up. Literally in the middle of nowhere here, guys. Crazy. I believe we've made it to Slab City, guys. There's a bunch of campers everywhere, a bunch of caravans, a bunch of people in tents and stuff. I think we're uh, here. It's crazy. Welcome to Slab City. Apparently how you roll up here is you roll up, find a bit of vacant land you stake your claim and then you can set up camping and live out here for free the last free place in america apparently 
Where's the skate park here? I was just saying, like, uh, I'm moving in progress. I'm the slab up there. Okay. Because this one, it looks flat, but honestly, it isn't against the wall. Ah, uh, okay. Good. It's a bit of a, a yeah, decline. Yeah, cool, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, naturally. I oh. also just want to make the biggest mini, like, hugest mini ramp possible, and I want it really to be wide. ever expanding. Yeah. So I don't want to take up a lot of the pool. All right, guys, had a pretty rad day today out in the desert. Got to hit the nudist ball, or the nude ball, sorry. Got to hit slab city got to skate slab city ran into a slab city local and he recognized me from the diy diaries videos at the slab he said he was on youtube looking at like diy stuff and then the slab popped up so shouts out to blake super rad dude we're gonna drive home now we've got a probably about a three hour drive we're just at the back of some abandoned looks like a meat a meat factory or something but yeah <laughs> check out this sunset guys you guys can't really see my camera's about to die guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. Hope to see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Cheers for watching.